as an independent check on their location, Noonan would take measurements of the sun, moon, and stars. This is known as celestial navigation. He had an almanac that listed 58 navigation stars, and the point on Earth, each one would be directly overhead for the day and time of his measurement. If they found themselves directly under a navigation star, well, then they would immediately know their position. But generally, they would not be that lucky. So Noonan would measure the angle above the horizon to a navigation star and use that to work out how far away they were from the point on the Earth where that star would be directly overhead. So he could trace out a circle on the globe of possible locations. And then he would measure the angle to another navigation star and draw out a second circle. And now they must be at one of these two circle intersections. Normally, the circles were so large that only one of the intersections would be a plausible position. That way, they could continually update their location and adjust bearings as needed. 